Christ movement, the Ode to Joy. Now, you've probably been wondering what the contents of these boxes you found on your seats were. This is the time to open them up, please, and go crazy. You're listening to the sounds of disorganized chaos. Okay, I'm going to ask you to stop, please. Thank you. We've divided you into five groups. So I'd like you to look down. Please have the house lights up full so people can actually see. Look down on the surface of the tone bar. The last eight seats going towards that wall, you should have a letter D on your tone bar. Okay, just those people with the letter D I'm talking to right now, although it refers to everybody. Now, I'm sure all of you have seen conductors on television and, and in performances with orchestras, and you said to yourselves, this is easy, I could do that. I just move around with, to, you know, move your arms to the music. But there really is a language of communication, and the most important thing that we do is tell people what the tempo is and when to start playing. And we do this through a physical breath called an upbeat. And it starts here, and there's a breath, breathe, play. And we all play in a center point of our body, sort of towards our belly button, called the ictus. So I'm going to ask everybody with a D tone bar to sound your tone bar once on my ictus. You ready? Breathe. Not beyond excellence, but we'll do it one more time. Okay, just those people with a D. Now, the next three people along this aisle and the next four people on this aisle, or is it four and three? I can't really remember. If you look down at your tone bar, however, you should have an E. Okay? Those with E tone bars, sound them once, please. And, good. In the middle, the eight people in the middle, you should have F with a pound sign, or some of you may have G with a little B on top, F sharp, G flat, they're enharmonic. All those Fs play together, please. Good. The next group, I believe, four and three or three and four you should have a G just a simple G those with the G's and then finally everybody who's left should have an A so we have the first five notes of a D major scale for those of you with perfect pitch and it goes like this very good now with those five notes we can play 900 years of musical history we're going to go back some 300 years and play this melody together. And uh, I'll tell you that it's by an Italian who was called the Red Priest, Il Prete Rosso. He wore his hair very long, he had masses of red curls, and he said mass on a regular basis until he took up with a certain soprano. We won't talk about it. Um, and this is a very famous piece. Now we'll see how well you play it, so perhaps you can guess the composer and what the piece is. Okay, here we go. You ready? Watch my cues. Can you guess what it was? <laughs> Somebody. Who is it by? Vivaldi, absolutely right. Good for you. Anybody want to take a guess at which composition is most famous? Four Seasons, right on, 100%. Okay, let's move fast forward to the film industry and see if you get this tune. Star Wars by John Williams. Okay, let's try this. Which is Beethoven's Ninth, The Ode to Joy. Now, I need to rehearse you for a moment uh, in one passage. Uh, before we play it with the orchestra. So here we go. You know, as salespeople, there comes a moment in any pitch where if you say another word, you're starting to buy it back, right? <laughs> Musically, we have reached that point. 
okay, so I'm going to ask for the house lights to be turned down and the orchestra is going to play the introduction. We're not going to do the whole thing. This is the KTEL version, lasts only about four minutes. And when it's your turn to come in and play with great verve, enthusiasm and symphony with us, I will turn to conduct you. May we have the video, please? Bravo! 